Hello everyone and welcome. In today's lesson we will see how to describe places in English and we'll also see separable phrasal verbs. We know phrasal verbs but this time we will see the separable ones. Let's start. What are separable phrasal verbs? With, with separable phrasal verbs the object of the sentence can go before or after the particle. And the meaning is the same, okay? So, we have here the first sentence. He is picking up litter. He is picking up litter. The object litter can go after the particle. So, it's correct also. But we can also put it in front of the particle up. Tuallina. He is picking litter up. He is picking litter up. And the meaning is the same. Huh? Let's see more examples here. He is cutting down trees. He is cutting down trees. Or we can say, he is cutting trees down. He is cutting trees down. She gave out the town maps. She gave out the town maps, or we can say, she gave the town maps out. يعني تعطي فيهم. She gave the town maps out. Let's do this exercise together. Rewrite the sentences by changing the position of the particle. The theater is putting on a show. The theater is putting on a show. We can say also, the theater is putting a show on. Is putting a show on. Number one, we will pick up the shopping. It becomes, we will pick the shopping up. We will pick the shopping up. Number two, those people are giving leaflets out. Those people are giving leaflets out. It becomes those people are giving out leaflets. Number three, can you check out the menu? Can you check out the menu? Or we can say, can you check the menu out? Can you check the menu out? Number four. They are filling that hole in the road in. They are filling that hole in the road in. We can also say they are filling in that hole in the road. The hole is the So they are filling in. They are filling in. Or they are Number five. I'm Taking back those library books. We can say also, I am taking those library books back. I'm taking those library books back. Very good. Let's have this one here. Read the passage and write the highlighted phrases next to their definitions. Let's read it together. Brand new sports center. Arriving soon. This is an advertisement. Alain li bishi hello new sports center. Khas bil 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 ait hajate ba sports. The new sports center will open late this month. There will be many opportunities for people to take up exciting activities, show off their talents, and Find out what suits them. Find out what suits them best. The surrounding area has been cleaned up and the beautiful Brock Park has just been reopened. Just one year since the previous owners sold off the derelict site. Derelict site when Mekin Majur. Haven 
sports centers. The town has a great new sports venue. Sports venue. Venue is a place. Okay, and the mechan we need to the new sports um, center. Come along and try out the facilities. Let's see the definitions of these phrasal verbs. Start doing. Take up. Take up. Exciting activities, which means start doing exciting activities. Number one. Improved. Cleaned up. Cleaned up. So. The surrounding area has been improved. Tasnat. Number two, test. Try out. To try out something, to test something. Number three, discover. Find out. To find out what suits them best. To discover. What suits them best? Number four, exhibit. To show off. Show off. Exhibit. Show off their talent. Well, exhibit their talent. Number five, sold cheaply. Sold off. Sold cheaply is sold off because the place is derelict, as I said, majur, so of course it will be sold cheaply. Very good. Let's see now some common mistakes, inseparable phrasal verbs, especially with the pronouns. If the object, if the object of a sentence with a separable phrasal verb is a pronoun, damir, it must go between the verb and the Particle. He is picking it up. He's picking it up. He's picking it up. This is correct. The pronoun must go between the verb and the particle. We can say he is picking up it. This is wrong. The pronoun cannot go after the particle. Let's practice this with this exercise. She is looking up the location. She is looking it up. She's looking it up. They're closing down the factory. They're closing down the factory. They are closing it down. They are closing it down. Number two. She's renting out her house. She's renting it out. She's renting it out. Number three. He's cleaning up the front of the shop. He's cleaning up the front of the shop. He's cleaning it up. He's cleaning it up. Number four. He's showing off his new car. He's showing off his new car. He's showing it off. He's showing it off. They tore down the building. They tore down the building. They tore it down. They tore it down. Very good. Let's match the words now in bold to the Adjectives. The city is dirty because of all the traffic. Traffic. The traffic is dirty, which means it is polluted. Polluted. Number one. The countryside is quiet and clean. The countryside is quiet and clean. And spoiled. And spoiled. Number two. 
The lively city is exciting. The lively city is exciting. Bustling. The bustling city is exciting. يعني حيا. Number three. The city can feel too full of people. The city can feel too full of people. Which means crowded, crowded, muzdahima. Number four, some places can be dangerous at night. Some places can be dangerous at night. Can be unsafe, غير امن, unsafe. Number five, people in the country seem very kind. People in the country, نحكي هنا على country side يقصد به اللي هي المناطق الريفية, seem very kind, friendly, friendly. Number six, the city has an exciting night life. The city has an exciting night life. Vibrant, vibrant. Number seven, life. In a busy town is never boring. Life in a busy town is never boring. Dull. Dull. Boring means dull. Mumil. We move to the next one. We will write the words from the panel in the correct groups. We have the first group is positive. The second group is negative. In the panel we have bustling, lively, Crowded, polluted, and spoiled, and unsafe. Let's start with the positive adjectives. Lively, kunahaya, lively. Bustling, bustling. And spoiled, and spoiled. And with the negative category, we have polluted. Mulawtha, polluted, crowded, and unsafe. Very good. Now, let's see some comparatives. Okay, we will compare two things with using modifiers. We use modifier before comparatives to be more precise about the comparison you are making. To be more precise, حتى تكون محدد أكثر. The tree is a lot taller than the building. Or the tree is much taller than the building. هو يكفي إنه إحنا نقوله the tree is taller than the building. ولكن نحب نكون محدد. قديش هي أطول من building? A tree. A lot. ألا much. So a lot and much are modifiers here. Okay, these modifiers here mean there is a big difference between the things you are comparing. From a فرق كبير between the tree and the building when we are talking about the length of طول. You can't modify comparatives with very. Remember that we cannot compare it with very. من نجموش نقوله the tree is very taller. No, we can only use. يما كلمات a lot and much and we have also a bit and slightly but these modifiers are different they mean there is only a small difference هنا تولي الفرق طفيف slightly طفيف وإلا a bit شوية okay the tree is a bit taller than the building the tree is slightly taller than the building. Okay, the difference between the tree and the building is very small. The difference is very very small. Long comparatives with modifiers. Okay, now we are talking about long comparatives, not short, like the adjective tall, beautiful, for example, is a long adjective. So we don't say. Beautifuler, no. We add more before beautiful, like here. The place is much more beautiful than the factory. Give the same thing. We replace, uh, we place the 
modifier before the comparative adjective here اللي هو more beautiful than so we put much more beautiful than the modifier goes before more of course and as we know for long comparatives we put more before the adjective to compare the factory هو المصنع so the palace القصر is much more beautiful than the factory let's do this exercise we will choose the correct one here the tree is much taller than the house yes much taller than the house difference هنا كبير ما بينتهم so much taller number one the mountain is much taller than the hill the mountain is much taller than the hill number two the church is slightly taller than the cafe the church is slightly taller than the cafe difference is not very big here number three the window is much wider than the door the window is much wider than the door Ausa the door number four the lighthouse is a lot taller than the statue the lighthouse is a lot taller than the statue lighthouse in it أطول بارشة من تمثيل number five the castle is slightly bigger than the hotel the castle is slightly bigger than the hotel very good let's see how to use these words modifiers with superlative not the comparative form now you can use the word easily for example or by far to make superlative adjectives stronger or one of to show that the superlative belongs to a group of things let's see here the clock tower is the tallest building in the town the clock tower is easily بكل سهولة هو أطول منهم يعني فما فرق كبير okay we cannot uh, use these things with comparatives remember easily or by far we cannot use them with comparative we only can use them for superlative here easily the tallest or by far by far the tallest building in the town the clock tower is one of the tallest buildings in the town one of makes the superlative part of a group so wahda min a wahid min if you use one of with superlatives the noun must be in a plural plural form okay we don't say is one of the tallest building le huwa ahad atwal albinayat so we need buildings we need a plural here this is by far now with long superlative of course with long superlative we don't add est at the end we add the most okay before the adjective this is by far the most expensive shop in the street okay and of course the modifier by far goes before the before the most expensive let's do this exercise here you will correct the errors in these sentences this tree is much the tallest we don't say that we say this tree is by far the tallest number one Spain is very warmer than Scotland Spain is much warmer than Scotland or Spain is a lot warmer than Scotland number two 
your house is more much beautiful than mine. Your house is much more beautiful than mine. ديما الموديفاير قبل الأدجكتف. The Nile is longer a bit than the Amazon. The Nile is a bit longer than the Amazon. Number four, India is one of the largest country in Asia. India is one of the largest countries. We don't forget plural when we add one of huh? in Asia. Number five, the sea is by far colder than the pool. The sea is much colder than the pool or a lot colder than the pool. We use by far only with superlative form. This is a comparative, colder. Number six, this is the most easily expensive hotel in town. This is the most easily expensive hotel in town. Colina, this is easily the most expensive hotel in town. This is easily the most expensive hotel in town. Number seven, the tower is a lot the tallest building here. The tower is a lot the tallest building here. It becomes the tower is easily the tallest building here or the tower is by far the tallest building here. That's it for today. Thank you so much for your attention and see you soon. Goodbye.